Hello everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video here on Show Style and Spirit. I am Ebony, of course. And as you can see from the title of this video, Nell and Chris Fletcher, they are hanging out with the Bells from Bell Collective. And she is pretty lit. I'm not sure how many drinks she and Letitia have had. Letitia Pearson from Bell Collective, that is. But they are having a fun time. And she speaks on a few things, including Lance and Destiny and her friendship with Melody. So before we get into this fun live, I ask that you please hit the like button on this video. Video. then more people will see this video and they're going to have a good time checking it out and please subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so and everything that I'm saying in this video is alleged and just my opinion and the copyright act of 1976 says that my fair use commentary on this Instagram live is allowed so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic so that you all do not experience an echo. And we're going to check out Nell's live. Please hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you. You are. You are so amazing. Thank you so much. 
so much. Good day so much. I love you, Miss Nell. I love you too, boo. Oh, y'all. Yes, guys, she talked me into getting on live. I didn't want to do it. I actually pushed away the camera, so, yeah, I got to get used oh, to it. See? Look at that, Miss Nell. <laughs> They said Austin, Texas, Houston, Texas. I see Memphis, New Orleans. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Both of you are phenomenal. Oh, wow. So I said, Miss Nell, don't take any foolishness. See? Hey, Miss Nell, you know anybody from the Bronx? Yes, Miss Tyson. She used to work for me for my daycare. She went to Oakwood and she moved back home to the Bronx, to New York. Yes. North Carolina, Kansas City. Where are you guys? Uh, I can't disclose that. I think I told it earlier. I'm, look, I'm new at this, so I, they don't want me to say nothing right now. Hey, Miss Nell from the <laughs> See that?
Love and Marriage Hunts will come back on in November. May I come back? So when y'all come back? November. November. I think uh, the second week in November. We need November the 1st. Y'all come on one. Yeah, so. We, oh, that's good. We're going to be coming because y'all Saturday. Yeah. We're right back. Mm -hmm. That's going to be so dope. Yes. We love you all from Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you so much. Somebody said November day. No. It'll be here before you know it. It's coming fast. Yes. We haven't even had the reunion yet. We're about to have our reunion coming up. Power cup for the Fletcher. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 11th first is my birthday. Oh, one of my sons is uh, 11 too. November 2nd. Oh, thank you. They said thank you all for being so authentic. Oh. Love no you, Nell, from Arkansas. Me. No other way for me. My favorite band. Are they talking about you, Nell? Thank you. You need your own show. <laughs> thank you. You the, uh, no, literally, you are a whole vibe. I told you that. You are like a vibe. You still need my own show. I don't know if they're ready to get my own show. <laughs> That's why I stay on social media. That's why I stay on social media. Yep. I got to stay prayed up. They said, Bobo, Bell Collective, when are y'all coming back? November the 1st. We will be back Friday, November, November, November 1st. November 12th. I love you both. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Now you need a spin off. They say you need a spin off. Two beautiful queens. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. Where are you guys going tonight? Shut the shut the hell up. My favorite. Oh, you know, we can't shut the hell up. You want to tell everybody shut the hell up. The first time I met this lady, she told me, you shut up. You just say shut the hell up. Well, okay. when you have as many kids as I do, I, okay, I trust me. I'm really not proud of it. I'm not. But I have a lot of kids. They have duck kids. And then I have my niece. And I had a hand in raising her, too. So then my kids have kids. So I'm forever juggling everything. So yeah, sometimes it, I can be a little rough around the edges, but I promise you, it's all coming from love. I, I don't mean I don't mean my kids no harm. I just want them to get it right and just do life the right way. Aww. I really do. Sip your drink, this man. Y'all before it's like. <laughs> said, sip your drink. <laughs>
Do we fall out? Yes. I have feelings. Male has feelings. But for all the people just, you know, just think that I'm just going to kick her to the curb. No. I've been through a lot with male. I watch male go through a lot. Male is going to always hold up your part in my heart. Whether we getting alone or not, I'm, I'm still going to always love male. Thank you. Thank you so much. It says you two need your own show. Thank you. Oh, let, thank let, you. Let's make it happen, uh, superstars. Oh, y'all know what y'all need to do then? Go over there right now. Thank you for being a and stand up. Uh, and let me know. And that's it. Are they canceling the show? What show? Um, what, are they canceling Love and Marriage Huntsville? Is that what you're asking me about? No, y'all just on a break. Thank you. No, we haven't even had our reunion yet. We're about to have a reunion, and then the show will come back on in November. Oh, you wasn't one of those. Uh, no, I'm, I'm never going to be an ox, but I do want you to know I'm not going to always agree with Mel. If someone's your real friend, you can disagree. And if you just a yes girl or a yes person, then you're not being true to yourself. I'm not that person. I'm human. Mel is human. You haven't missed anything, I don't think. You ladies look beautiful. Thank you. She said, I hear they are canceling the show Love and Marriage. Um, I don't know. Then you know something I don't know. Favorite on the TV. Uh, thank you. You two uh, black women who rocks. Thank you. That's explain. You're, you're a real friend. Mel tells people that all the time. Thank you so much. Somebody say you're a real friend. Mel tells people that all the time. Thank you so much. You're just real. Hey, beautiful. Thank you. Bell's coming back. Yes, Bell. Bell Collective is coming back. What November? The first week in no, November first. Thank you, guys. Bell Collective will be back. Y'all already know Friday night belongs to the Bells, okay? So Bell Collective will be back November the first. All right. So go ahead, get it together. Like remember, put it on your calendar. But your girl will be back on your screen, okay? November the first. Doing what I do, what you see is what you get, and it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. But November the first, okay? So if whatever you wanna do, we can um somebody said where, where is Selena? To... Oh, I don't I haven't seen Selena. I haven't seen Selena yet, but I'm sure I'll see her somewhere. And I love Mel too. Somebody said Mel loves you. Oh, hey ladies, you're my favorite show. Love the Mel from day one. But she can't wait to see the mess. On which one? Out on all of them? You gotta have some mess to make reality TV. If you don't have no mess, uh, we will be canceled. Yes, we'll be canceled. Yes, we will 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 be can
I'm sorry, no love lost, but it's a, it's a strong no on that one. But if you want to join the live, if you want to chat with some of your supporters, you know I'm new to this. <laughs> If you want to sign me up for nothing, I'm not ready for. If you're not ready for it, then I won't. You don't, you don't yeah, because do I don't know what to do. You just what you do, talk hell. I thought they could just come on. They're not just coming on. Uh, like okay, for an example, like that request came, right? So if you on live and you see somebody and they send a request to you, that means like like this person. We'll go back to it. You can like hit view request, right? And then you, we don't know. That's the number. Of that person, and then you can, you know, do it. So, but if you want to hop off now and say goodbye, that's fine too. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to hop off. I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Uh, y'all come hang out in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, see. Somebody say hey, Tisha. Hey, babe. Yeah, Auntie. Somebody say help, Auntie. I'm trying to. Help. I'm trying to help Auntie out. Somebody said, I'm, I sent a request to be on your live video. So, okay, let's Le just try this. But I'm going to show you. So, if you come out, okay, we're going to try this out now. But if you want some craziness, we're going to, you got to go bye bye. Hold on. Okay. Let me show you. Because I'm, I'm teaching my auntie how to work this. But if you come on here being crazy, you got to go. Okay, let's see something. Right here. Somebody said, thanks for talking to you. Somebody said,
Just about that. I know that's right, T. Oh, y'all, I'm here for it. I want to know. Come out to Miss Nell. Do more dancing videos with your husband. Oh, I like to see y'all dance. Oh, that'll be dope. Oh, hey, yo, yo. So, that's okay. We're going to see you. You see how you move that finger? That's going to be a pile of my hair with you. You, are, you immediately went here to view requests to automatically let them in your line. I know who that is. Oh, you know who this is? Yes. But you can't. So why some people got a request and some people don't? Everybody got a request. These are just come. These are just people who are on your live right now. Hi, Nana. Get away from your son. Keep that devil away of the show. Um, the children moving to high school. Hi, Nana. Hi, Nana. Talking about both, and there wasn't no business. Well. I knew Moses and I knew Destiny too. So that meant the high school. So you, you don't know the whole story, so I'm not gonna go back and forth with you on that. But I, I know Moses and I knew Moses through Destiny before his wife. So that's all I gotta say about that.
Yeah. Somebody said, we said your hubby has him. Yeah. Miss Nell, where's your hubby? Oh, he going around on another side, child. He's hanging out with Glenn. They doing their bad thing. Thank you so much. I love how down to earth you guys are. You and your hubby initially were the most natural, most compensated in life. Thank you. Um, no, I've always stepped up my game. Y'all just don't see me really dressed up. My family always see me dressed up. My family knows I like to step out. You just see me on TV now, and I just do a little more. But no, I've, I've always been me. Thank you, Miss Nell and Fletcher Levine. Oh, they're one of my favorite couples. Thank you. Yeah, Daddy just popped up on scene. Yes, the trees popped up on scene. Yes, we're having a ball. Thank you. That's right. Great energy for black women. That's how we're supposed to do. You're absolutely correct. How are you and Mel? Me and Mel are great. Agreed, definitely, God. Thank you. Y'all are the best couple. Thank you so much. I do love the other chicks don't do it. I do too because the other chicks don't do it. I don't understand that. Hey, from Minnesota. Hello. Read my message, Miss Nell. You can also sit it up this way. You can see it like that, or you like it that way. I don't know. What works for you? Oh, they said somebody just told you to read to a podcast. They can tell me that all night on here. Ooh. You real raw and uncut now. Oh, love your personality. Thank you, Miss Nell. Y'all showing my AT so much love. Yes, she. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, she know why I was being petty. But she knew I took care of her. She know I'm always take care of her. And I feel like she should have did me the same way. But anyway, that's the girl. <laughs> I'm going to get ready to get off of here, guys. Uh, we're going to go join our husbands now. Because we on this live. So we're going to get off this live. Because the, hubby, the hub, hubbies are waiting on us. So I love y'all. Good night. Thank y'all for tuning in to my live. Thank y'all so much. Love y'all. I get the courage to get back on here real soon and I'll start posting real soon. And I'll figure out um, this podcast with my husband. I tell him we need to dance. All this stuff y'all are requesting. I make sure I let them know. Uh, actually, uh, here he is right here again. So what you're going to do is end live, right? So that was Letitia and Nell. So obviously, you know, I think it's that it's safe to assume definitely the Fletchers, perhaps they are kicking it in Jackson, Mississippi with some of the bells. They were having a good time. I don't know what was in that mango drink of Nell, but of Nell's, but I need that because she was so giggly. Everything made her so tickled and happy. She was feeling that drink, okay? But um, the Fletchers are hanging with Glenn and Letitia Pearson and Latrice and Cliff from Bell Collective. And when it comes to Destiny and Lance, so I felt like everyone in the chat, their questions were on point. Someone asked if Lance and Destiny were dating. Nell said that that was a question for Lance and Destiny to answer. She said that she was trying to stay out of people's business. Nell said that she and Melody are doing great. I do want to circle back to some more details that she gave concerning that. Now, um, she said that Nell and Chris, they're going to work on a podcast. 
I would imagine, it seems like a lot of people, whenever they start a podcast, it's always romantic relationship centered. I like podcasts that are like um, more wellness based, you know, to help people overcome childhood traumas or even traumas that you may experience in adulthood. It could be on your job or in your adult relationships, or if you've gone through some type of loss. I like podcasts such as that. Um, or even if it's centered around building wealth or learning about money, just starting on a basic level. But I would imagine with the Fletchers, they may talk about like family. If you have kids, that's my guess. They may get into some real estate with Chris Fletcher being a realtor, but I guess we will just have to see. What are your thoughts about the Fletchers starting a podcast? Do you think that that's like a conversation combo that um, that would really entertain you or meet your informational needs? We know that Chris Fletcher is very laid back and calm. Now, when it comes to like the kids borrowing money, she gets very um, high sprung and uh, I'll just say energetic. So, you know, I don't know. I guess I would have to just try them out to see if they um, kind of exceed my expectations. But so far, that's not really a podcast that I would see myself getting into. And um, of course, Nell and Chris Fletcher apparently have been counseling Letitia and Glenn Pearson. Now, if you watch Bell Collective, Glenn has um, admitted to cheating, allegedly. And it was pretty obvious, though, that Letitia Pearson was going to take Glenn back. I always kind of got fake storyline from Letitia Pearson on Bell Collective. I think that on camera and in front of viewers, she wanted to look like, you know, this woman who ain't putting up with it, snaps in Z formation, you know, and she's going to leave him because he cheated and she ain't having it. When really my whole thing is just be yourself. If you know that you um, will forgive him and still stay married to him and you all still live under the same roof with your kid, just live your truth and then not care what the viewers say or think of you. No one can judge you. No one is better than you. No one is perfect and has the authority to judge you. You know, we go over these spiritual truths all the time in our daily lives. So, you know, like why even care? If you know you're going to keep the man, just go ahead and let that be your storyline. But, you know, she said that the Fletchers told her after they watched the show, they wanted to connect with Letitia and Glenn and Nell wanted to counsel. This is just my opinion, but you know, sometimes it comes off like, if Nell discovers that a marriage has had some cheating, you know, she definitely wants to swoop in and counsel because I think she prefers to see more couples stay together or, you know, prefers to see more women forgive and stay in that relationship and and to each his own you know if you want to stay in that marriage you're an adult that is your choice you know and again i cannot judge i don't see myself staying in such a relationship um but some people do and um i just think sometimes it comes off like she's definitely encouraging the woman to to stay in it you know if she can but that's just my opinion now, um, Nell admitted that she and Melody do fall out sometimes. And she said that she tells Melody how she feels most of the time. And she said that if you are a yes person, then you are not truly being yourself. And she said that true friends fall out sometime. And um, she said that she and Melody are going to disagree sometimes. And, you know, again, she's not a yes person. And I think that that is fair. Where I think it was annoying to me was when they were on the girls trip and um, Melody brought up how um, Jesus was betrayed and Nell said in her confessional that her fans got her puffed up. And I'm like, she was not comparing herself to Jesus. She was comparing the relationship 
and betrayal, duh. You know, but I don't like this whole, you know, quick to, to dog her fan base. The fan base, Melody's fan base is the largest group of people that watches Love and Marriage Huntsville. You all still have that show because of us. So that was the point that annoyed me and, and turned me off. Well, we get it if you're going to disagree sometimes, but she says that she and, and Melody are great. So if Melody ends up, you know, doing another TikTok live and she may uh, respond to that, you know, we'll have to see if Melody agrees that her status with her friendship with Nell is great. Now, if someone in the chat also asked if Love and Marriage Huntsville was canceled. Nell, in my opinion, she seemed a little thrown off, a little shocked and confused by the question via her facial expression. And she was like, no, Letitia said, no, ain't y'all coming back in November? She said, they're just on a break. And, and Nell said, yeah, we're on a break until November. And we filmed the reunion this month and the show comes back in November. So in my opinion, right now at this very minute, I do not believe that Love and Marriage Huntsville is definitively canceled. If there's any sort of rumors about it, it is definitely something that has not been communicated to the cast just based off of Nell's reaction to the question alone. So we'll have to see. Typically when a show, there's even talk of a next season, it's typically after, you know, the reunion has aired and then, you know, they start to think who they're going to keep, you know, for that for that next season. So I think we're still a few months away from definitively knowing if the show is coming back for another season or not. But what did you all think about Nell Fletcher's Instagram Live? I think that it was definitely fun. They were definitely having a good time. Um, what do you think about her um, always seeming to counsel couples after there's been some sort of infidelity? Do you think that it's just, you know, she feels led to counsel? She feels like that's her gift? Or do you think she's trying to, you know, talk women into staying? You know, I definitely want to see where your thoughts are with that. And do you believe that she and Melody are great? I hope so. You know, I try to think positive for everyone as much as I can. You know, um, maybe Melody will respond and we can hear her side as well. I thank you all so much for checking out this video. I always appreciate the support. Please hit the like button as it is a free way of supporting the channel. And please subscribe to Show Style and Spirit if you have not already done so. This is a great start to the weekend. I have my webcam off because I walked outside for over 45 minutes after I logged out for work. And then um, my guy was um, cutting the grass. So after he was done, I got in my car, went to the gym, and then I had Thai food. I like to get the pad thai, no meat, no egg, and just vegetables. So good. And I got like um, I asked for extra lemons and the crushed peanuts. So it was very good. And then I was like, I was going to do a video on Wendy Williams. And then I said, oh, my gosh, Nell is live. So I decided to check that out. And here we are. So this is a great start to the weekend. And I may go to the cider mill this weekend. We shall see. I probably, if I do go, I'm going to try to just get cider and no donuts or maybe cider and apples. We'll have to see. But um, I will talk with you all soon. Be sure to like, if you can, try to sleep in a little bit and maybe then go for a walk or even a walk at the gym. And while you check out your favorite YouTubers, don't forget to drink some water, maybe eat some fruit. While you watch your favorite YouTubers, you'll be glad that you did. And I will talk with you all soon. Bye.